Pandemic time, the people are so uh, hungry and they don't have a uh, place to live and uh, they lost the job and many people are wet, homeless. Uh, they used to survive begging in near the temple when it's a lockdown and nothing they, uh, they will get. My idea is to give them nutrition food. The hungerness is a dangerous than disease. This is not a proper kitchen. Indira Ranamagar is not a safe either. But she's cooking food in her backyard in Samakosi to feed the most vulnerable in Nepal's capital, Kathmandu. Every day, Indira prepares food for 1,000 people living on the street and this is where she cooks. I buy a lot of fresh vegetables from the local area. 10 o'clock we start to fry potatoes. If I have a chicken, it's a different. We start to roast the chicken first uh, with the oil and then we prepare a mashallah and then we mix it. Older girls, they are supporting me. I give them complete tax cutting and packaging for them. Oxygen and hospital beds are in short supply in Nepal as the latest wave of COVID-19 raises and kills people across the country. Government infrastructure is stretched to the limit and good Samaritans like Indira have kept busy taking care of the needy. Uh, when lockdown started, I seen uh, one woman is uh, searching food in the garbage. So my heart was broken. Everyone is scared and they are scared with uh, they are li living inside the house. They have a medicine, everything, but poor people, they don't have. How they improve their immunity power? So I thought I, if I give good food, quality food, nutrition food, then they can protect themselves. Their immunity power can be increased. Every day, Indira takes a taxi or a van to go around the city and hand out food and water to people on the street. She has been doing this for more than a year now. She started with feeding 20 people, but now feeds at least 1,000 people a day. Everyone calls her Ama, mother. Some are uh, disabled, blind, all kind of people. Some are single women and children. They don't have a place to live. They also became a street people, like a homeless people. And some people, they are like a, they're begging in the temple and different places. And most of the people all, uh, I've seen that uh, like a porters, porter for the trekking, porter for uh, vegetable shop and some are labor and now is no labor work so some are rickshaw, rickshaw driver so because uh, Nepal is uh, depend with the tourism but now no tourists <laughs> Before the pandemic hit, Indira used to look after 500 children whose parents were in prison. In 2014, the World's Children's Prize recognized her work towards child welfare. She is an Ahsoka Fellow and featured in BBC's 100 Women List in 2017 for her social work. For 1,000 people, um, including water, one bottle of water and all the logistics, uh, it's uh, 50 rupees. One dollar for two person, uh, include transport, everything there. So this way I give the budget to the people and uh, I raise money from the, um, actually different Nepali people. 